Hello, hello everyone. Um, looks like we m we're probably live here. Yep, sounds like my audio is working. Um, so, how's everyone's day going? Uh, I know mine's going well. Uh, so let's just save it. And, um, let's hop into the, uh, build here. So, this is a fictional route. I'm using a DEM to create this route. I'm using a DEM to create, uh, this map. Now, the DEM is pretty big. Now, for the scenic railroad route, we are only using the area that is highlighted in gray, like here. I'm going to expand it up to, like, up to probably here or here for the main line on the route. And if you know how to fix, if you know how to fix this, uh, like, it, I go up here and zoom back in, it, it, like, bugs out, usually. But whoever made this DEM was kind enough to fix the track laying on this. But there are a lot of roller coaster hills on this route, I'm assuming. Um, this is my second asset that I have reskinned. Um, this is the Basalt Depot. Um, I'm just using the names of the towns that are on here. So, this route was, it's, uh, it's based in the 1890s, but, Okay, let's, I'm going to just, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get this depot lined up, I was going to board up the depot like it was abandoned until I realized that this probably would be still active. There might be a parking lot in here for uh, the depot. So, um, so we have, uh, so trains load. So they unload p stuff back there. Uh, these are now used for uh, passenger loading. This was a freight depot, but they use it now for, like, passenger car, not passenger, I mean, excuse me, they use, my, my theory here is, like, they use it for, uh, this reskinned depot, uh, that I reskinned here, I, I'm sorry if I'm, uh, emphasizing this too much. Uh, yeah, I think the reskin came out really nice anyways, you probably don't care about that, but let me know in the chat if you actually care about my rant about, uh, about, uh, just this, <laughs> this reskin. Anyways, I think I'll be able to release it with the route if I'm not. I'll be sad because of, I didn't put very much effort into it. I only put like maybe a hour, not an hour, not, I didn't even put an hour into it. I put like maybe 10, 20 minutes into it. I, the only thing I reskinned was the sign to say basalt. Um, and I added textures. From what it looks like to me, on this route, there are a lot of roller coaster grades. 
So, by what I mean by roller coaster grades are there's a lot of up and down gradients on this route. Like, for example, we go back here, we look down here, uh, look down at the track level, see it heads up. Now, I don't know uh, if this is realistic. I've, I've seen it on uh, other railroads before where it just goes up the uh where it goes up the line on an incline uh that's something i've seen uh there you go this is the depot probably don't care about my rant anyways uh so we're just going to start by um opening up our search filter we're just going to type in uh I think I might use a sidewalk asset. Uh, let's see if there's a con a concrete uh, slab type asset that we can use. Hmm. We're probably gonna, I'm probably gonna put this cool cool stage. Somewhere, uh, let's just add those into my pick list here. Also, if if you're building any route, no matter what size, use these pick lists. The but this is how you access them. You just go up here. Well, this is for trains 2019. For earlier versions of trains, you just click on the, uh, it's a beaker, uh, it's a beaker icon. I don't know if that's the right, is beaker right term for that, like, science thing? I don't know. That's, click on the science thing up here, and then you'll just have a pick list. Just rename it something useful. For example, I have a 1980s Conrail root common assets because that's another route I'm working on so these are a lot of the common assets that I'm using on it uh, it's really helpful you'll see what I mean once you start experimenting with it yourself okay so we have this depot here we're just going to uh, see what Hmm. Concrete slabs. Well, this fence is nice. Let's, uh, bookmark that so I don't forget that that assets available mm. there's even more of these um, let's just drag those over there um, also before stream I don't know why but if you know what uh, the solution to this is I tried to uh, open. I tried to open OBS. Uh, well, I I opened OBS, but for whatever reason, I had to restart OBS and restart Trains to get uh, the thing to work. Um, the stream to actually just. I had to restart twice to get uh, OBS to finally display my screen for the live stream. It, it was a bit of a problem, um, but hey, it's solved. I got the stream up and running. 
You can thank me for not just saying, you know what, forget about the live stream. Because I could have very easily done just that, said forget about the live stream. OBS is being annoying. And <clears throat> you can see I'm trying to like, trying to build this. Um, I'll probably add these out. Uh, I have a feeling, uh, like, it has, like, Google Earth, so, like, over here has some roads and stuff, so, I'm gonna add in, like, some roads, maybe some residential stuff in here. Also, uh, yeah, it's based in Colorado, uh, it's fictional, like I said, but I'm using a DEM off the download station, like, uh, I, all I have to do to use this, whoo, nice, you can tilt it, uh, it's pretty nice, um, you want about 270 for the, it's hard to get everything precise, it just, it, it takes skill to uh, get things just the way you would like them. Also, if you're enjoying the stream, consider following me and uh, let me know in the chat if you're enjoying the stream and if you want to see more of these live streams that I'm doing. No, I'm trying to create, like, a station. This might take a lot of, like, kitbashy type work. It'll probably take a lot of kitbashy type work to, uh, get this all <laughs> nice and, uh, kitbashed. Like, these blend, like, the texturing on them aren't amazing, but, like, it blends well, and... This is just really small. Somebody just took the cube and blender and probably just stretched it and made a concrete slab. But these are actual, uh, like, industrial-sized, uh, things, like, <laughs> it takes a lot of kit bashing. Kit bashing. Uh, sorry that I got distracted a bit. Kit bashing takes a lot of time to make it look good, but um, if you're not, uh, you have to have quite a lot. Of skill at trains to really uh, effectively kit bash and that's something I have quite a bit of experience at trains I don't have them I don't have as much as say approach medium I have about the same experience as J9 with trains because we start playing around like the same time I'm pretty sure And the only reason I, f I found out about this game because I remember playing mobile when I was younger on, like, my tablet. I was like, what? Wasn't there a... I thought I just got a gaming PC. I was like, hmm, one wonder if that game is still available and if they're still uh, developing it. <sighs> this is... Like, sometimes you have to bury it just a bit, like... Yeah. But the thing is, then it goes all, uh... All berserk. <laughs> like, the texturing, it's Z-clipping, but... 
There's nothing I can do about it there. Um... Yeah. Just to, you have to get down and uh, work on your kit bashing skills. One one uh, tool I would say that you need for trains is just any uh, software like Paint.net for just reskinning assets. But also make sure it's fine with the author. Uh, they said, George Rail said that, I'm pretty sure with this model, they said that you can just reskin it and release it onto the DLS. I'll release it onto the DLS and it will be a DLS asset that you can go download. Yet, I made, I didn't make the model, but I did make, like, the depot skin well I didn't make the skin for like the windows and stuff I I only reskinned the little plate I could have did a whole retexture on this thing but I wasn't feeling like it needed that I I felt like it it fit what I wanted pretty well it felt uh it for like what I wanted really well I don't know uh, this is all I got for this platform I think uh, we just I need to just add one more right here like I'm, I'm trying to have where you can load uh, both ways. Like I said, I don't know how realistic it is. Like this is probably the best I can do right now. Um, let's add a uh, line here at the station. We'll just add a. Um, uh, I'll just add, a. Uh, I'll add some things here. Just had the reply still in there. So how's everyone's night going? I my night's going pretty well, uh, except the OBS problem. Uh, looks like I'm getting some bit rate. Looks like I'm getting some. Meh, <laughs> please tell me my internet's still there. Looks like I just dropped the stream. Or it's very choppy and low quality, but, uh, that's... That's, uh, my, fr my bit rate's, like, scuffed. Bit rate's scuffed.
sorry, I'm I'm just getting distracted. I need to get back to this. To be honest, I'm kinda bored at this game right now. Like, I'm kinda bored. Wish I had something better to play. This game's getting boring. Well, maybe we'll put some houses on. Maybe we'll put some uh, houses. Maybe, maybe we'll put some houses on this. I've seen hills like this with houses on them. Like maybe there isn't any houses here. Maybe there's some woods. Maybe like one or two houses in here. You know what? Let's uh, let's start on that. Um, just <laughs> oh, we'll start with some of these trees down in here. I use a variety of uh, STRMM trees. Uh, one thing I do know about uh, Colorado, there, there's a lot of spruce tree. A lot of spruce. There's a lot of spruce trees. Well, uh, we'll just. We'll add on to, um, we'll add, we'll add these trees. I use a variety of them. Sometimes I use a, uh, a built-in tree or two. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I use a built-in one or two. Also, my internet's a bit laggy, so I don't know the stream may freeze or lag out I don't know it may do it at any time <laughs> um we're just gonna use I think this is gonna be some residential so we'll just use some PBR grass by the way this is 19 not 10 so sorry for all those Tain people that want a Tain route. Uh, we won't be providing a Tain route for a while, probably. Well, I will have a project or two coming up that will be in Tain. I just want to explore with 19 and see what the possibilities are, really. That's the whole reason for this series to just explain, not to explain, but just explore the world of uh, 19 and just start playing with it. Uh, I'll just add the, the dead grass. We'll add in some of that stuff in there. Um, we'll add in some, we'll add in some, like, underneath the trees is darker, so, um, we'll just, mm, we'll fix the texturing here. We'll just put this down in here. We'll add, I'm assuming like up in here will be like, a 
like, trains obviously on this line aren't going to be hanging much faster than, like, 20, 30 miles per hour coming down into the town here. Now, where this blue is, um, that's bodies of water, so we're going to have to make bodies of water in areas so this is like the entire map roster it's just a short little map or route just that i'm exploring 19 like i will probably skinny this up and if there's anything back the whole way back if there's anything the whole way back here it will probably just be there's anything the whole way back here it'll be uh there's anything the whole way back here it will it'll just be a bunch of uh it'll just be a bunch of It'll just be a bunch of textures. It won't be... I'm not going to waste the performance frames to have anything but textures the whole way back there. We're just going to do this. We're just going to copy and paste these the whole way up here. We're, I like the elk trees that are available for this game. Elk trees that are available for this game. They're they're pretty nice. Thing is, trying to find the independent uh, growing trees are a uh, challenge to have. Put those. These trees, I believe, aren't seasonal, so uh, this route will just be like a summertime map and nothing else. It'll just be a summertime route. This is hopefully. Come on, add, I might add a. Uh, let's add a house in here. Put add an Audi Moore house, but the problem is those are from Control Point simulations so I may have a hard time getting permission because they're they're uptight with their whole policies with their policies they're they're uptight um we're just going to we're probably gonna have to just grab that and just level level that out there we're gonna have to level that out uh, so that the house could be built <laughs> because uh, if you have ever uh, attempted to build anything on a hill in this game you're gonna see it right now it's it's a, it's, it's a very uh, time consuming and difficult task to create 
some form of terrain that actually looks good. Uh, then you have to be cautious that the road doesn't look like a total uh, piece of crap. Just have to make sure. Um, and then sometimes you will have to flatten out the road. And you will have to, uh, now I wanted the natural flow to this road, but I realized that they probably would have to smoothen the road out. I'm not kidding you. I, I'm not kidding at all. I have seen, uh, I've seen, like, roads that are literally this steep um we're we're got we're running out of time here to stream today so let's uh, get something done here that uh the bug just put me behind uh All right. I'm trying to like make this. It's hard to build anything on a gradient of any type in this game, but it isn't impossible. It's near impossible, but it isn't fully impossible. Uh, we'll just. Let's find their uh, dirt roads here. I like three, in my opinion, uh, road three looks, dirt road three from Joint Rail. I believe these are third party. These may be built in or on the DLS, but I think these are third party and I'll have to provide a link to them whenever this route gets done and I and if I do decide to release it, which is almost a definite, uh, yes, I probably will release this route to, uh, to the public. <laughs> this route should, should look good. I think, I think we got this looking good enough right there. I, I think that looks good enough for what we're going to do here. Um, I think that looks good enough for what we're, I think that looks good enough for what we're doing. For the job that I'm doing. I think that looks. Um, I think that looks. Um, I think this looks good enough for what I'm doing. I think that's uh, good enough. Thing. I think that's good enough. I don't know if this town's woozy. I don't know if this is all covered in, uh, I want to say it's just a small community. Most of it's down this valley of this, uh, 
Like, I, I don't think I'm gonna add another house up here. It's just this one house that this road runs up here for just one house. Maybe this is a, like, a main road in the town. Okay. Here, I think. I'm gonna just put that up there. I think this looks good. Let's get the uh let's do that. Let's let's get that. Let's uh let's bring this road on down over the tracks. Um uh, let's bring it on. Uh, uh, oh. uh. All right, there you go. That's probably going to, yeah, I'm like, that's probably going to throw that off. <laughs> that's, I'm like, that's probably going to throw that off. But, you know, it is what it is. I can't do anything about this. Just. Now what, why isn't this fixed to a height? This should, f fixing this to a height should make it a, a much better uh, road. There, it gets a little, uh, gets a little down there. Uh, let's see if I can't uh, use the down tool to sorta, uh, down that. All right. We have a little crossing here. Okay. 
Let's go way over here. Maybe then I can have a nice looking road right here. I'm pretty sure like right in here is a dead straight. Mm. Oh, that road needs to change. I'm just trying to, just trying to uh, make this look good. Actually, we haven't saved it since the beginning of the stream. Let's save that before it trains. Decides it's going to do something. found a uh, I found a nice uh, thing comrade Kermy thank you for the follow um, I just saw that pop up on my uh, thing I just saw it pop up on my thing all of a sudden. Like, it's like one minute ago, Twitch, why didn't you let... <laughs> I'm like, Twitch, uh, why didn't you let me know earlier? Could have gave him a shout out earlier. By the way, I'm going to give uh, shout outs out to all the new uh, followers and uh, viewers. Um, anyways, uh, we are a community of trains uh gamers that uh like similar things uh i don't know what to say uh built they like similar we we all like similar things we build routes we build routes um uh, and all kinds of stuff like we do trains running and uh, what is this game doing <laughs> uh. anyways this is uh this route anyways this route's uh it's the Colorado Midland Scenic Railroad. It's it's just a little short line based in Colorado. I'm I'm using a DEM to construct it. Uh, these live streams also go up over on my YouTube channel after they were streamed live here on here on Twitch.
Oh yeah, point here. This route's looking pretty nice so far. This route will hopefully be out. I don't I don't know. I found some nice uh assets. Well, not assets. Well, they're technically assets, but they're... I found some nice grass blinds under JVC that they work... They work really nicely around, uh... The... Thing. Around the main right-of-way. They work really nice for, uh... for like just building in general alright we are coming up on the end of the time I uh Coming up on the end of the time I have for live streaming for you guys. Uh, well, the limit I come up on the limit I set myself for live streaming because uh, I'm going to do live streams every day. So, Okay, we're attached to that point. Here, you know what? We're let's. Uh, I like using. All right, let's. let's continue adding here. you adding on here I found that this works really well for um, just scenery, outlining your tracks. It's the name of this spline is uh, listed there. Also, the KUID for the assets that I'm using are located right down there for anyone who's interested. And as to what particular assets I'm using. <sighs> See, it looks really nice with this grass. It, it, it goes along really nicely. Um, and it, it works well around the edges of the splines just to sort of it works really well as a mix it looks really nice around the tracks add some flower assets and such
just add some flower assets and such around the right of way along with this some bushes and then you have yourselves a nice looking track right of way and by nice looking I mean it it looks nice and it works well the method works well now you don't want the tracks getting overgrown unless like the tracks aren't uh unless the tracks are overgrown We're just gonna get this back. We want it close. I think they would uh, just have it running like this. Like you get this weird uh, edgy texture. I'm gonna touch that up coming through here and stuff. Like you said, there's a ton of work that needs done before this route uh, is able to get out. I'm not making any promises that the route will ever get finished. Could have a uh, grown over like junction here. I don't know. I like the look of it though, but like I don't want it, I don't want our uh, tracks to be too overgrown because these tracks are still pretty well used. I would say they aren't, they aren't brand new, but they're pretty well used. They aren't used to the point where, like, it's mainline heavy freight trains coming through here. There might be one freight train a week on this line. And all the rest tourist trains. It might just be a straight tourist line. I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, it's still very, very early in the development stage of just... This is how I get a project going. I just get the idea uh, out on the paper or out onto uh, virtual terrain just start I just start mapping it out like I'm doing now and go from there well this is when I'm working on a DEM route I, I have multiple routes that I'm uh, juggling between so it probably this is well, this is probably my main project that I'm working on by myself. I, we're working on a little uh, partner project type thing. I don't know if that's the right wording to use. Um, I apologize if that wording is not correct. I'm trying to I'll add in some bushes in here and along the road and stuff some rocks some stumps also along the right of way some uh, stuff like maybe some ties here and there well let's fix this uh, let's fix this texture this uh texture glitching let's fix that let's just let's get texture down to fix the glitch uh i don't know that let's just fix 
this glitching in here because these are non PBR and they're mixing a bunch of PBR stuff. I think this is created for trains 12 or pain. Is and that's the only reason why like everything is like floaty and like right here the track literally gets covered in dirt coming as you approach the grade crossing. I don't know what signals I want to use for the grade crossing yet. I don't know if I want mechanical bells or electronic bells. Know what? Let you guys let me know in the in the comment section below on YouTube and let me know in the chat box um if you're uh how many know in the chat box if uh Like, do you have any ideas about crossing bells that I could add? That was a mistake. There you go. Um, so, um, we're about done with the live stream. About all the time I have for a stream tonight. So, um... Uh, I'm just going to probably, after we add in some more trees here, I'm probably just going to end off the stream for you guys. Uh, we're working on a secret background project. Also, uh, if you want to join a trains content team, just message us. Because we're creating one and we're creating a site and everything. But if you uh, stay up with stuff, you basically uh, know how it goes. Like, you create a map or something, we'll host it up on the site or whatever. Go to do a model or something, we'll, uh, we'll host it up on the site or uh, I feel like there should be a lot more housing in here than trees uh, the trees might honestly just be filler these are animated trees in here I hope the performance lag uh, I hope the performance doesn't uh, I hope the performance doesn't just how people's performance uh, works. How people's computers work, and I didn't just overdo it with speed trees in this area. It looks like I'm I may be lagging just a tad bit in this area. Uh, there's a lot of terrain to generate, a lot of stuff. I also don't want like the you know how some routes the um, load time takes. The load time on the, the on the route is uh is just like it takes like five hours to actually load into the route, and by the time you load into the route, you regret your decision to play it like immediately, and then you basically just you get like forced into uh t you get f basically forced into uh i like the th like <laughs> the load screens on uh certain maps on this game just Loading time sucks. I don't want this route to be another one of those routes that you immediately regret your decision to load into the route. Um, if you have any ideas about crossing bells, let me know. Because I don't know either. I don't know if I want to put crossing, like, uh, mechanical bells. 
Uh, I don't know if I want to put mechanical bells, cross, uh, mechanical bells, uh, e-bells, uh, e-bells, electronic bells. That's basically, I don't, there are certain people that don't know the difference between them. You know what? Rather than just trying to explain it to you guys, I'll just show you an example. Oh, that's scuff. Railroad cross books. Let's find one. Um, yeah. So, so basically, for those who don't know the difference, I feel like I shouldn't have to explain this, but just for those that don't understand, uh, this right here, this bell right here is an e bell. See if I can't find a mechanical bell. That's a, another e bell. Um, that's that one has an e bell. I know this is a mechanical bell. Right here. So that round cylinder one is a electronic bell, more commonly known as an e bell. And this mechanical bell, and a mechanical bell is a circular bell. Now, um, there are better uh, models available from Reggie's Trains. Uh, basically, there's all kinds of stuff you can get on the internet for this game. Also, if you haven't looked at this game or don't even play this game, I, I recommend you just... Go pick yourself up a copy. Um, Trains 2019, I believe, is about 40 to $50. I don't know. It may be 60 I bought mine when it was on sale for, like, Christmas. No, it was, like, Halloween I bought this game on sale. It was pretty cheap. It was about maybe $40. It probably wasn't much of a... I don't know. Well, I don't know if it was on sale. It might have been... Anyways, that's besides the point. Also, um, I will be looking for some beta testers, so let me know in the chat if uh, you want to be a beta tester for this route whenever it's uh, in a stage of completion. Also, we're looking for people for our uh, content team. So, uh, for my content team, let me know if you're interested. I'll send you a link to a form for Google for a Google form for you to uh, fill out. Also, you might want to download Discord if you don't have it. We're currently in the process of creating a Discord server for um, just chatting and whatnot. Um, looks like I might need to use the straighten tool. Um, mm, weird. That's an odd thing. Let's save because also one thing I cannot, I just cannot beg someone enough to just save. I don't know if beg's the right word, but like I can't tell someone enough to just save 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 this game crashes a lot yep there goes my pc starting to rev up that's how you know yep we're starting to lag with these speed trees in here so uh yeah oh <laughs> my computer doesn't just fry or something because i I really hope it doesn't. It just just revs up and just constant. It does that a lot with routes. I don't know why it does it. Um, I'm constantly checking Discord here. Uh, all right. All right. I'm constantly checking Discord. I need to stop checking Discord, twenty four seven. Because that, that, I, let me know if you guys are fine if I just check Discord, uh, 
occasionally. Just let me know in the chat. Because I'll be happy to not check Discord for entire stream length, which is usually about an hour to hour and a half. So, um, that's, that's what I'm going for. We've already hit the hour mark on the stream, so... We're... I pr I might... I might stream to 10. I don't know. 10 o'clock Eastern Time. I'm, I, I might. I don't know. It's 9.30. It's getting pretty late. I might end here soon. Don't, don't leave yet. I, I said soon. I might end it here soon. Probably very soon. Also, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just building. To, <laughs> I'm just building and I'm building something. We're gonna add all kinds of details in around the. the oh yeah, uh, if you don't have these installed. I don't know if these come built in with 19 or not, but uh, make sure that you uh, pick up these things, the KUIDs down here in the bottom corner, right down there. So if you just open up Content Manager and type the KUID in or whatever, and then it will take you right to the asset that I am currently using. I put that there so during the live streams people can see exactly what I am uh, using because on some of my uh, more previous streams I got like I'm talking quite a while ago I got quite a few questions about what I was using and I don't like the thing is I streamed for like for a while and then I just completely stopped like streaming for a couple months and then I just came back and decided right now to start streaming daily and uh, I lost a lot of viewers that just were average watching my they're just uh, normally watching my sh people are just normally watching my streams they just stopped watching them because I was just doing this I was just building and having fun so this is the town of Basalt is what we have as you can see there's a bunch of uh there's supposed to be houses in there I'm gonna only add like houses some maybe some housing over here I don't know uh yeah there's that zoom in glitch I don't know if it's because we're so far high up on uh like the map scale on trains maybe we maybe it's a height limit bug this is 2019 sp3 after all so you never know which trains it's unpredictable it could it could very well crash like right now for whatever reason i i like to use tain because it's just a little bit more predictable if it's going to crash or not. And I have a computer that, like, Tain, I have a very good computer, so, like, Tain, Tain will run flawlessly. So, 19 runs fairly flawlessly, but I actually have more hours on 19. I started to trust 19 a bit more because during Service Pack 2, it got a bit more stable till one day like 
when they upgraded it to SP3, like, the stableness for me, all of a sudden, uh, for whatever reason in Surveyor, the stableness of, like, basically, if you'll know what I'm talking about by the stableness of it, like, the game being reliable just, it stopped being reliable for the most part. Um, I think actually I might place a house or two down here. So we're just gonna grab that house right there. We're going to, what are these? Just curiosity. I don't know why I'm looking at those, but what is the sap one? Whoo! Whoo! Um, that looks like a nice crossbuck. Pretty much anything with the prefix SAP or uh, JR for joint rail at the beginning of it, it's bound to be good. We need to just get rid of that. Um, these are Dave Snow assets. <sighs> All right, let's rotate this here. Let's rotate this here. Um, I think this house looks good enough. Um, I still have to download uh, approach mediums. Uh, I still have to uh, download approach mediums house pack. Um, also, during school, uh, let me know what you think about this, but when school comes back around to where I can't live stream every night, um, what you think about, I do, like, I do several long live streams on the weekends. There will be a lot more, like, quick clip YouTube content for you guys, but there won't be as many, uh, there just won't be as many Twitch streams for you guys. Are you guys, would you guys be okay with that? Uh, because I'm going to have to make a decision here soon on my schedule for uh, the summer. The, well, we're almost off the summer for uh, the school year. And once, uh, of course, once school lets out and everything next year, at least I hope I'm still going to be live streaming. This route might be complete. But, like, we'll do mega live streams on the weekends. How's that sound? We'll do, uh, we'll do mega streams on the weekends. Just to make up for, like, the... We'll do, like, four-hour streams on the weekends. How about that for during... The, the thing is, I might do shorter ones, but, like still doing longer streams on the weekends and uh, doing shorter one not shorter shorter ones during the summer and longer and longer ones uh, during weekends during school yeah I, I I'm pretty proud of this reskin here I just I just reskin that so this is just a little town here on the route. We need to add a creek here. My hands fall asleep. Uh, that's just a sign that I probably need to end the stream here. Um, you know what? I'm gonna end the live stream here. Uh, I want to wish every I want to thank everyone for watching. Uh, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next live stream.